Hey guys, welcome back to Nuke It From Orbit. Today we're looking at Bertolis <clears throat> Chicken Carbonara and Farfella. This is the type of pasta it is, and it comes in this nice, uh, fancy tray because it is a bowl underneath here. And a lot of peas in this carbonara. And I hate peas. I hate peas a lot. So. Farfella pasta with white meat chicken and bacon in a creamy alfredo sauce and more peas than pieces of chicken. Guaranteed. Uh, remove meal to microwave on high for four to four and a half minutes. Remove film and steamer basket. The outer sauce bowl. Be careful it's hot. Stir steamed food into sauce bowl. <clears throat> Check that food is cooked thoroughly and enjoy. Uh, 440 calories. 32% from fat. 60% of that is saturated fat. 25% cholesterol, 49% of uh, your daily recommended sodium, 9% potassium, 12% carbohydrate, 16% dairy fiber, and 26 grams of protein. So we're going to go and steam this, and we'll be right back. Alright, we are back. <clears throat> uh, so it's not a whole lot, really. Uh, this bowl was like four bucks. Um, Alfredo sauce is pretty good, and it has a bit of that bacon flavor in it. Um, I've noticed that we do a lot of pastas on this show, and just in general in the freezer aisle there's a lot of pastas. I'm not a big pasta fan. I wonder why that is. I guess it's cheap, easy to package, filling, but, you know, really not good for you. Um, so, here's the farafella, I know I'm mispronouncing that. It's good quality. <clears throat> Sorry, let's try one of these peas. Peas are gross. Peas are everything that I dislike about like just regular green vegetables. They're not very, they're kind of bitter. They have a really strong chlorophyll flavor. And they're mushy as shit. Um, still, you know, you need green vegetables. Good for preventing cancers and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, obviously not in this method where they're heavily drenched in a uh, cream sauce with bacon and, and uh, fake chicken and all that and chemicals to keep this, you know, going. It's not bad though. Um, the other flavors kind of... mask the grossness of the peas and they are gross so a little bit of sriracha never hurt anything is there anything that sriracha doesn't doesn't taste good on I don't think there is I think you could eat glue and uh, sriracha would still make glue taste good it does this is like glue no alfredo sauce is heavy One of the reasons I'm not a big fan of uh, Italian food. So much cream. Then the bacon is okay. Um, I've definitely had better carbonaras in my day. This is passable for microwave food, though. Again, it's still kind of expensive, and it's actually kind of a lot of work. You have to let it cool down before you pour it in. And um, it's just kind of messy and a lot of waste. Um, I don't know how you would make a steamer meal without kind of that insert being just tossed aside. And this bowl is really big, and it only fills it up to about there. So, you're paying mostly for the stuff that it comes in and not really the product that's inside of it. So, such is life when you're doing a show about microwave food. That's that, though. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.